Hey everyone, this is Garaka Games. Hope you're all doing very well today. We are playing um, a competitive style video this time. I've been asked to do this sort of thing. Now the main uh, society that I play in is a WGT, and it has both PGA Tour and a um, European Tour, as well as something called a Sunshine Tour, which anyone can enter. And we just played around, which I felt was really mediocre. Cannot get the tempo down today on the controller. One of those days where it feels like I'm getting like random results. It happens every so often and then I play other days and I'll get like what seem to be consistent results. Today is not the case. But I don't feel like anyone has really put in a great, like a spectacular first round today. There's been a few people who have put in some like minus eights in the first round. But like the second and third round they've not put in as good. So I'm hoping that if we can put in at least a decent um, couple of rounds coming up, then we can do okay. We're starting off with a perfect, so maybe that is a good omen for this round. So yeah, I didn't post the first round as a video. I'm just going to post two round videos. I'll play the first round. I'll play it kind of by myself, and then I don't want to be putting up you know three videos for every event. Maybe two videos is better. I feel just because um, I feel like these, these videos can go on too long this is in between clubs I really want this club but I want between this club and this club I think is the exact I think this is just gonna hit that kind of semi false front and then not get up there but then we could we could be able to chip it in and also we could hit a fast shot so let's think about that if we hit a fast shot it's gonna get us on the on the green, and we did. It's gonna hook us a bit more though. Heading a little bit to the left on the approach. Decent approach there. Twenty-seven. But yeah, away. this course, by the way, I'm not even gonna say its name. You saw it in the intro. I'm not. You can see I didn't bother trying to say what course it was because I can't pronounce it. Yeah, I'm gonna hit this 41%. It's downhill actually. Uh, gonna go maybe around here. Right, let's try that again. So like, I would count it in my head like a one, two, three. You know, one, two, three. Looking super. So close. Yet so far. That would have been a great. Uh, Great little putt to start, well little, not a little putt, but a pretty big putt. It would have been a great start for us. But I've seen a lot of um, people putting in kind of average scores really. Not many people have been putting in really high scores so far, so I'm hoping that we can just get like a random high score. Again, in between clubs, but we do want this one probably. Hit through the hit through the wind. Yeah. In, I played my first round just before this, and I was hitting fast shot after fast shot. Whenever I tried to edge off, I hit a slow shot. So it's one of those days. It's just I haven't, as I said, I haven't got my rhythm. Try that again. If it can get there. Oh my gosh. It's two putts in a row that I've just shaved the hole. A little bit more power needed there. So unfortunate. That could have been, we could be minus seven already. Two really good reads as well. Two really good reads in the puts and just either didn't have the power or just skimmed by the hole. So unfortunate. Frustrating because that's the difference between being minus seven and minus five. It's just like, and that's, it feels just unfortunate really. But uh, this is a pitch. I really don't want a pitch shot. I hate they um, give you a pitch by default. And why they do it, it annoys me really. So it's like I would never choose a pitch by default for a hundred yard shot. 
But at least we hit a perfect shot here. Well, I think we have the right club here. Just bounce forward a little bit, thank you. And then stop perfectly. Nice. nice. What a green. kick though that was. This one's just three feet. Very favourable kick for us. Okay, let's take a look at this next <clears> ball now. Yeah, so we and after that one, you're We're only six, minus one, one but could have gone either way, could have been minus two, minus three. Wind is blowing right. If just held that put on the on the last on the previous hole before the when we just played, if we held it a little bit longer. Could have um could have been minus two. A slight fast is fine. You need the distance here. It's one of these times where I'll be in favour of getting a fast shot. But um can't use a driver there. Have to use a three wood. Alright, this is for the bird. And this is a weird one here. You overhit this and you're down that slope. So let's count it. One, two, three. Too slow. One, two, three. There we go. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, way too fast, but if it hits the hole, yeah, it can slow it down. Wow. Why was my timing so far off when I actually hit the shot? Annoying. It's getting there. I kind of just hit that one through the break a little bit. Yeah, that was annoying. My hands are feeling really sweaty today, for whatever reason. Four in front of you on this one. Doesn't help. It feels a bit slippy on the controller. It's perfectly fine drive. Setting up around 130 yards and two strokes off the lead. I'm gonna. Add. You see this one, this type of club here. You want edge on the. On the spin forward, but not by much. I think we need it, but not by much. I think it really um, overly is overly drastic on these clubs. But I'm definitely getting more perfect shots in this round. But yeah, here we actually did need a little bit more. Saying that, it is rolling towards the flag, so distance was actually pin high and fantastic. Here we go, birdie putt coming up. Can't complain at all. I just had visions of that ball coming to a stop right after it bounced, like the previous hole. Or previous two holes, whatever, however long it was ago. And here we have a lovely par four hole. Felt like a decent shot. Felt like a. Maybe on the slower side. I'm very surprised to see it fast. Could we get a kick, right? Thank you. One of those rare moments, actually, on this course I've seen where the. The rough, um, the edge of the group of the fairway is kicking into the fairway, and you can see um, another thing we're finding is that there's a lots of long holes like this, not helping people's scores when you have all these long holes. But if you play them well, play them better than everyone else, maybe you have a great chance of putting in a better score than they are. But that's actually a spectacular shot there, really nice. To uh, you know, get a close approach on a difficult hole. Well, a difficult because of the length. Straight in. Wasn't much break on that. <clears throat> so yeah, I I was asked to do a couple more um, competitive style videos. So I've been doing like a lot of course reviews and stuff. This is downhill, twelve feet. I feel like we want this club though, but I want to like loft it quite a bit. See how it works out. Just try and hit a perfect shot though. Slight fast, unfortunately. Let's hope it comes to a stop enough. Yeah, the I, th I feel like the previous or oh, the lower club, the shorter club there was a little bit too short and wasn't going to be great for us. Let's have a look at this break. Quite slow break all the way to the left, and then at the end it breaks a little bit sharper. Still feel like we're going to need to go around here, maybe. Bit of a weird one, actually. This is one of the weird puts you have to work out, double breakers. Okay, so I kind of going like a one, two, three here. One, two, three. A little bit too much there. But that might be okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
I'd rather have the 52% yeah, to make sure we go past the hole, but actually the 50% was perfectly fine. Yeah, very difficult put there. Really hard to read that one. Double breaking, but it's not like it's an easy double break to read. A lot of break from right to left, which is moving quite slowly, and then break left to right at the end, which is going sharper. But your ball's slowing down at that point, so it's kind of like, how do you read it? Probably probably want to read the break at the end a little bit more, just because of the speed your ball's going. And it's knowing these things that makes a difference. Although, although I know that, I didn't produce the shot I needed, unfortunately. But there you go. This seems to be the perfect club, to be honest. Okay, ball slightly above our feet. So I'll go about here, not too far left, because the wind will counter it, but ball above our feet, so... Felt okay. Actually, quite fast. Ugh. Heading for the green. Okay, if the ball stops quickly, then we have a chance still, but... That would have been a great shot outside of that. Really um, unfortunate to get that fast, I feel. It went in, though. thought that was going to be a little bit too fast. Glad we made that one, though. I feel like we got a little bit unfortunate with the... Um, the fast approach. I say unfortunate because it feels like some of the um, results I'm getting today, as I've said. Like that one. That one there felt like a really nice shot. You know, when you're taking shot after shot after shot, you start to really straight away know which ones feel good and which ones don't. With the wind here, this being a par 4 was ridiculous, by the way. Absolutely ridiculous. With a fast shot, that's okay. Yeah. I mean, yes, we would have rolled out there, but we would have, like, had we not hit the bunker, we might have had a 240 yard shot here. And I swear that there's a hole later on on this course that is shorter than this, but is a par 5. So I kind of wish um, sometimes creators. Not complaining about the course, but sometimes I feel like you get the odd hole some courses where like it doesn't make sense why one of them is a par four, the other's a par five. Oh come on, get in. Again, like we've had so many of these puts. This is actually a bogey. But I mean I feel like maybe a few people are gonna get a bogey on this hole. Because I really think it's with the when the wind's in your face like this, it's plays as a par five, definitely. Slow. That's a perfect. I mean, that felt really slow. I'm glad it came out as a perfect, but yeah, yeah, that last hole. Weird that it's not a par five, really. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, maybe it's fine, but sometimes I think, you know, why is it not a par five when it's playing 267? I mean, you drove it into a bunker, and it, <clears throat> yes, it'll take maybe 20 yards off, but it's still playing pretty long without that, you know. Take a moment here to just check what these beads are doing as they pass the hole. Probably more right to left here. Mostly straight. <clears throat> Minus nine, though, but you look at the scores... That, from the other people, and uh, he got an 11 under. Okay, he's he's on hole 15, though. Three. Yeah, I think this is a fine club. I'm not going to mess with it too much. Try and hit it nicely. It did feel fast, to be fair. That one actually yeah. felt like what it was. That's if it feels like it, I will admit it for sure. Second shot here on the 11th. Oh, wow, what a disgusting lie. Should have put some backspin on that. What's well, heading towards the hole? Okay, good stop. Okay, nine under is current score. It's one of those um, courses that you'll see maybe like on the PGA Tour, like in real life, I guess. Long and quite unforgiving. 
Take me left. Oh, come on. Work, come on, man. We are in the deep stuff here. Yeah, this should be fine with the wind, I feel. Taking us forward. The ball's above our feet, so I'm going a little bit further right than I would usually. But hopefully this rolls up there. Should kick forward quite mu quite a lot. and Maybe there's a bit of a back si so backstroke side stop here. It looks like it. But it could be incorrect. Yeah, it's kind of coming back. Sweet. I think we did our best there. Birdie. Could be a good one. Straight in the middle, thankfully. <coughs> I mean, it wasn't the most difficult of puts. But it's nice to produce birdies when you shoot into the rough. And let's see what happens here on the 13th hole. I really feel like a lot of people are having trouble with this course. As I said, you know, it's not one that has um, a lot of elevation changes. You know, crazy greens and whatnot. It's just playing difficult. I could try and drive this, but there's no point given where the pin is. I mean, I could give it a go. I mean, it is. You can see that if you end up on the green somehow. It does roll right to left. And if you end up in the bunker, that's also okay. So actually, we'll go ahead and drive, but probably won't make it anyway. You must be feeling lucky. Taking driver off the turf. That is exactly where I want this drive to end up. Just depends on the kicks and such, if it gets up there. But because the green is going right to left here, this may have been the best choice of the, of the event so far. Going for driver there. I mean, we just produced some golf the perfect drive, I, I think, off the deck. This is I really hope that I, I get this in because we deserve it and it will really help us. I don't think many people are getting an eagle on this. Going towards that hole. Hit that quite hard. Good work. But at least goal. it didn't break and we got the eagle. I could tell that wasn't hard enough to not go in, though. If it's a little bit harder, it can hit the stick and then kind of bounce outside the hole a little bit but uh, I I'm really happy with that eagle as I said I don't think many people get an eagle on that because I took driver driver but um, given where the pin is you have to be really precise with that driver and that hitting that fast as well whoops might be okay here might still stay on the fairway right but it's not looking like it actually sure maybe in the fringe if we're lucky no. but yeah I think um, it's gonna be really precise Actually, this isn't bad lie at all. I'm just trying to think about this. 87%. going to go with this, but I'm going to loft it. I think we want in between these clubs, really. Might roll a little bit. So you come out of the rough, you just don't get any spin. That's the, that's the unfortunate thing. I want to see if there's like a 44%. Yeah, there is. And that's, so I want to go on the bottom end of the white here because if we go past it, it's going to go off the green. I might even try and go for that 44% or 45 maybe perfectly. Yeah, 44, I'm happy with that. The main thing is here that we don't pass the hole and hit that little um, downward slope there, you can see. I think you have to focus on maintaining a par there more than anything else. I'm not going to try and go for that. There's no need. We can just end up with a bogey there very, very easily if we slide off that green. Easily happen. Slight slow, might push us into that um, rough. Depends on the bounce, really. Ah, uh, horrible bounce, unfortunately. But we are pretty close to the hole, and we didn't get a bad lie. Hitting the rough a lot, though, in this um, in the, in this uh, what's the word? I believe the word is round. We are hitting the rough a lot, and it's unfortunate. I think that's a good shot, though. Wow. 
Wowzers. You just know it's a good shot. As soon as you can see it fly through the air and you can see... You get a feel for where it's going to land, right? And you can just think, it just looks really good. But I've got to say, <clears throat> although we've hit the the uh, rough a few times off the off the tee, our green sorry our fairway in regulation for this this round won't be great. We have escaped very very nicely a lot of the time. I'm gonna aim for around here. Yeah, got the perfect, and so we should just hug the left side, the landing. But because of the the way the green the fairway is. Um, Turning there, we can easily hit that rough on the right hand side if we're not careful. But again, quite a long, quite a long hole. I'm going to apply a little bit of backspin. Although, not really too much, really. Just don't want it to roll too much. Want to make sure we stay on this green, ideally. Might be okay with this, we'll see. That looks pretty good actually. Not gonna be super close maybe, but um should be safe. Yep, that's gonna work. Wow, and this to go to fourteen. So this is par. breaking a fair Let's amount. <clears throat> hoping that we can read this pretty well. Try that again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Just skimmed it. Needed one or two extra little um, clicks to the right. Well, let's get out of here. But, tough putt. That's all I can say about it. I'm not going to say it wasn't a tough putt. Look at this, look at this pin location. Okay. Um, hmm. Not sure what to say about this. Just have to go for it. Great swing on that one. Ideally, didn't want to fast, but we got it. Just have to deal with it. Maybe we can chip it in. That's unlucky. Missed the green on that approach. In the rough. This is a very hard chip. I'd rather be on the right-hand side of where we are. Just you know, on that on the side, uh, you know, peninsula peninsula of this green. Because this is just going to bounce right, unfortunately. Very difficult chip, but what can you do? I mean, it's not a difficult chip necessarily to get close, but to actually get it into the hole. The funny thing is, had we given that more distance on that chip, it may have bounced differently. It may have bounced straighter, you know? So you, I can't say, given that more oomph would have went in, would have gone in. Because it, you know, because the the uh, the curve of that green was changing as it went along. Whoa, what a horrible way to finish! It's disgusting. Where did that come from? It's a par five. I mean, we can just hit it with this percentage here. Another fast shot, but it's going to be safely in the fairway, I believe. If we can produce a good All right. We're out of the dirty stuff approach, the approach shot here, then this should be okay. Let's, uh, let's so this is a pitch. Again, don't want a pitch. <laughs> I don't know why it defaults to a pitch there. I really don't like the game. The fact that the game does that. I wish it wouldn't. So I would never default use a pitch. Oh, darn it. With the fast, it's going to not do us any good at all. So, unfortunate. This hole played out really terribly. We didn't do a great shot at all. None of the shots, even the getting out of the rough shot, was a fast. I mean, didn't hit one right. But you never know. Maybe we can get it in. One, two, three. Shall we try that? Yeah. Maybe around here. Oh, 
quite make it there. Really wanted another birdie. We had so many opportunities we could have done. That should have been a birdie hole. Yes, we're at the top of the leaderboard right now, but... <clears throat> well, on behalf of myself, and of all the top ten, you can see we, we, we've put in the best the we'll score for this round, but... You know, there's still a fair few people to come to play this course, and... I'm definitely not feeling comfortable about this. But, you know, I think we did our best. We had a few good escapes. There were some moments of good golf, but also some moments of ugly hit shots. So, level up to level 91 anyway. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will play the next one right after this, and hopefully post both of these videos up. For those that want to see this style of video, and until the next one, take care.